Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Sivat Nankamani, an Integration Technical Architect. Last video, we have seen uh, the scatter gather integration pattern, where we have seen uh, how the same incoming payload can be uh, used to undergo multiple workflows. Uh, however, a splitter aggregator is a little different. In the same payload, you want to split uh, the individual items into multiple items and you want to process those individual items separately and simultaneously. So let's see how it works. So I have already created a simple workflow with an HTTP listener and the logger that logs the incoming payload. Let's trigger that. So I have the input payload uh, with three records with uh, Carlson, Kasparov and Anand and uh, what the use case is we need to uh, split these three records separately and uh, we want to uh, process first record separately a second record separately and the third record separately and all these three uh, records have to be processed uh, in parallel simultaneously so let's see how a uh, splitter aggregator works the important thing is there is no splitter aggregator in mule 4 so you are surprised. Yeah, Mule 3 has a splitter aggregator, but Mule 4 does not have that. So how to achieve that equivalent uh, um, design pattern here? So we have a for each, which we can use. So before using that, uh, let's uh, uh, log the size of uh, the incoming payload records. Let's take a variable. And we can have the name as the size and we are going to find the number of records in the incoming JSON now. We will say size of and we can say payload. Since payload is an array you will be able to find the size of uh, or number of records into the size which we are going to use it uh, uh, in this flow. Let's see. Uh, let's see that later. So now we need to uh, use for each let's drag and drop for each we have seen in one of the videos uh, in my previous video you can go and check out in that video we have seen for each is used to uh, split the incoming array elements into multiple elements and then process them in sequence so let's set the payload so basically here this for each scope uh, can be used to process the uh, um, individual record where instead of set payload, you can imagine that you are going to place the subflow reference where you are going to process the incoming message in, in its entirety. So now in the set, set payload, uh, we are go I'm going to process the incoming record. So uh, in order to process that, I have to manipulate it uh, to demonstrate the completion of process. Let's update the payload. So I have deliberately updated the incoming payload to demonstrate it's working. So this is the payload. So uh, when we run this, uh, the for each uh, would have split and processed these individual records, which we have seen already. However, how to aggregate them back together as a single record or single array that contains multiple records. So for that, uh, we need to use uh, aggregators components, which doesn't come by default. So you need to click here and then type aggregators and you can see aggregators module which you can include and then uh, install it. I have already done that. So uh, this time this is a group of records so we need to choose group based aggregator. So in the group based aggregator we are going to use uh, the size which we have calculated or identified already and go here let's go towards the bottom where you can see the group size. Here I'm going to give this uh, size variable. So the idea here is uh, uh, this individual record is available in uh, as a payload 
so in the aggregation complete you want to complete all the or you want to merge all the records together so i am going to use uh, uh, set variable and i am going to put the results into a one single variable called results where since the result is already available in set payload i am using the set variable with a content payload so now we aggregated into the uh, variable called result now let's use uh, transformation so in the transformation we are going to uh, place this variable results in the json format so i have put the variable results we have to give uh, the name of the group based aggregator let's call it as aggregator so let's save this and wait for the application to be restarted i think it's restarted already yes so we'll go back to soap ui and then hit the same record again now you can see the result is an aggregated data which can be uh, proven by this uh, uh, array marker in the json response and you can see these three individually processed records are concatenated together or aggregated together in a single array so let's recap uh, what we have done in the splitter aggregator so uh, we don't have a splitter aggregator pattern in mule4 so we used for each with aggregators so this basically is uh, uh, is preferred uh, for the particular use case the use case is you have multiple records in the incoming uh, payload and you want to split them and process each of the split records uh, simultaneously and then uh, you would have got uh, results for each record and you want to merge them together and either you can continue processing or you can uh, handle it accordingly as per your actual requirements Hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed please like this video and uh, please uh, leave your comments in the comment section below i will come up with more videos in future thank you bye